In this video, we're going to be doing a lymph drainage massage. And lymph drainage is crucial to help prevent breakout after the facial procedure. Anytime that you're stimulating blood and lymph and you're bringing the nutrition, water, oxygen up into the epidermis, if you don't expel the carbon dioxide and cellular waste, it can only come out through the skin. Almost everything you do as a skincare therapist will stimulate blood and lymph. So the lymph drainage is always done at the end of your facial. It's the last thing you do before you spritz them with a the toner if you choose to use one. The um, face is full of little lymph all over the place, but the major nodes that collect the uh, debris are the anterior auricular, which is right in front of the ear, your parotid, which is under here where you would either get the mumps or you feel a sore throat, or the facial one, which is right under here, right under this part. And then you have the cervical, anterior cervical, in the front of the throat. And then this area right in here above the clavicle is called the terminus. And it's in this area that lymph is returned to the subclavian vein to be taken away. We just always need to make sure that we don't leave any toxins in the skin if we can help it. Lymph drainage, and this is an acupressure combo, but you're gonna choose a carrier oil of choice to put your essential oil in. It's going to be an oil that can, can be absorbed by the skin that has been official. Avocado is my favorite, but then you would choose your essential oil to benefit the client's particular skin issues. Oily acne skin would benefit from an essential oil that has antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal capabilities, where dry mature skin would need something more hydrating like rosemary. So once again, you're going to put a little portion cup Pour some oil, a little essential oil, then pour some into the palm of your hand. Normally, your client will be laying down, so as you rub your hands together, if it drips, it's going to drip into the decollete. But then I'm going to gently blot across her face and chin, throat, come across the chest. And it's not an oil that's going to be all over the face because it's not a massage medium. With lymph drainage, you do break contact it's not the same type of a massage. We start in the center of the forehead with a lift press, lift press, lift press, three areas. In the center between the eyebrows, right in the center of the forehead and then at the hairline. So it's lift press, lift press, press. Now while you're lifting and you're pressing, if you feel squishy soft skin between the eyebrows, it could indicate a sinus infection they could be a smoker, or they could just have a cold. But if I feel that, I'm going to do more than my basic three. Normally with lump drainage, the minimum amount of massage technique is three. So it's lift, press, lift, press, lift, press, lift, press, lift, press, lift, press. That's one. Lift, press, lift, press, lift, press, lift, press, lift, press, two. Lift press, lift press, lift press, lift press, lift press, lift press. That's three. Then I'm going to drain toward the hairline. And then I'm going to put my fingers together this way and right between her eyebrows. Now what I'm feeling for as I come across this frontal bone are the acupressure hollows that are there to release tension. So normally in most people, where the eyebrow begins and the arch is, normally right there, you will feel a depression, but this is where you need to teach your fingers to start feeling for that. Right now, your fingers don't know what to feel for. And so you have to teach them that as you're coming across, if there's a depression, you need to press on it. Then at the arch of the brow, where the end of the brow is, there's usually another indentation in this area here. And while we are all anatomically identically different, 
So even though that's the major main area, it may be a little more toward the, it may be an offset. So you need to teach your fingers to feel for it. And it's good to start on your own forehead because you can feel, mine happen to be right there. Mine are more right at the arch. They're not so much in the middle. Oh, I do feel it there. And then you're coming across and you can feel it there. So when you're feeling that, that's what you're feeling for, it's press. When you feel that indentation, you pause and you apply pressure and count to three. You slide across, you feel the other one, you pause and you count to three, and then you drain to the ear. Dead center in the forehead. Press, release, I'm feeling for the acupressure holes. There's a major one between the arch of the brow and the hairline. So in here, you're going to feel a major depression. Pause, press, release, press, release, and drain. And then you do the hairline. Press, release, press, release, press, release. Never press on the temple area. As soon as you get to the arch of the brow, I mean the end of the brow, all pressure stops and it's just gentle. But then I'm going to slide like that. Then I'm going to take this part of my hand from where my thumb is attached to the wrist and I'm going to apply pressure. As soon as I get to the end of the brow, I release the pressure. So now I'm draining and pushing all this stuff down into this anterior auricular lymph node. Then I'm gonna take my two middle fingers and I'm gonna push them together like this. Not down, I don't want pushing down, but try to touch your fingers and you press. Now once again, if they were squishy up here, they're gonna be squishy in the sinuses and it's like squeezing the water out of a sponge. So if that's a sensation, then she's gonna get some post-nasal drip and she might cough and tell her that's normal. That's what you're supposed to do. That means I'm doing my job. Press and then you bring your middle finger and you stay on top of the zygomatic bone. Press and then to the ear and then down more toward the base of the nose, the nostril, and you go under the zygomatic bone. So it's press on top of the zygomatic, press at the base of the nose, below the zygomatic. Now I've moved everything from here to here. I've moved everything from here to here. Now I'm gonna take and make a butterfly with my fingers. I'm gonna draw back on the chin, lips, and bring it back, and then I'm gonna take the earlobes and I'm going to massage the earlobes. The ear in Chinese medicine represents a fetus and the head represents the head of the fetus. So when I'm massaging the earlobe, I'm re releasing tension inside the head. As I come up the spine of the ear, I'm re relieving, releasing te relieving tension down the spinal cord. And then I press in the inner ear. I have to use my knuckle, my nails are a little too long. Use your knuckle, press in the inner ear, and that relieves all the stuff from the internal organs. Now you have to be extremely careful with that because I have allergies. And when they did it to me, I had an asthma attack and had to have medicine. So be sure that you find out if your client has any allergies and you may wanna leave that out. Draw back, massage the earlobe, up the spine of the ear and apply pressure. Now I'm going to drain from the top and I'm gonna take this part of my hand and I'm gonna take all the stuff that we put here I'm gonna move it down to here. So it's press, press, and you wanna make sure your pressure is on the side of the cheek here in front of the ear. And then I'm gonna scoop, go down the throat, and return all of this garbage that we collected. I'm gonna apply pressure in the terminus so it returns to the subclavian vein. Apply pressure on the shoulders because you wanna bring them back like that and then you come up the back of the neck. At the back of the neck, you have five meridian points, one on the right, five on the left. And so you find those acupressure hollows, and then you move just a little bit in and a little bit up. It's, um, sometimes they're very difficult to find, but you just have to keep feeling it until you get it, and then you massage. And try it on yourself first. Mine are right here, then you move in and up just a little bit. The other sits right here. They're maybe the size of a fingernail apart 
that's how close together they are and then dead center where the spinal cord is and that's the completed massage but remember you'll do each movement three times so now without breaking the rhythm it's a lift press lift press lift press lift press lift press lift press and drain press release press release press release drain in the center press release press release release drain at the hairline press release press release press release drain pressure bringing it down on the side of the nose where the tear duct is press drain on top of the zygomatic bone go to the base of the nose press under the zygomatic bone draw back on the chin and cheeks earlobe one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve up the spine of the ear with circular friction and then pressure in the inner ear scoop down return to the terminus pressure on the shoulders come around the back and up to meridian points one and five two and four and three which is dead center and a nice thing too if you want to is you could go down the client's arms to the elbow and come back up and you can do a little more movement on the back of the shoulders if you want to you can add anything you want to add but you don't want to delete anything